Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Ashley Janae, B and Janae. Um, if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. Or if you're already subscribed, thank you for uh, tuning in. Um, today is Tuesday, May 9th. Oh my goodness. It has been a lot, a lot, a lot. Last week's vlog, mercy. I was supposed to take a pregnancy test. And if you've seen my last week's vlog, that did not happen. So I was supposed to take a pregnancy test to see if I was pregnant. Okay, backstory, I have PCOS. And if you do not know what that is, that's polycystic ovarian syndrome. Um, I was diagnosed with PCOS back when I was 20, when I was 20 years old. So I've dealt with infertility ever since I was 20. I am now 33. Um, so that's 13 years dealing with infertility. Um, I, although I've dealt with infertility, I have three wonderful babies, beautiful babies. Uh, my first daughter, she was born with clo uh, I mean, she was conceived with Clomid. My son was con conceived through IVF. And then our uh, third baby, she was conceived naturally. And we was like, what the hey? Like, it can actually happen. So, um, I just started getting my period, like, somewhat regular. Um, and so that's why I was like, what if it happens again? Like, what if? <laughs> so that's why I was thinking that I was pregnant. Um, or I could be pregnant. And I was tracking everything, you know, trying to make sure because I need to schedule my... Uh, yearly annual um, I need to schedule that yeah because my daughter just turned a year old so it's time for my annual and I just need to start tracking my cycle making sure all of that you know it's good to go but I didn't uh, I didn't get to take my pregnancy test because Friday what was that May 5th yeah May 5th um, I was going to drop the kids off at school. I was going to uh, go by the store and get a pregnancy test. And I was hoping that I would take the test and I was pregnant. And I was going to come up with a creative way to surprise my husband. But we ended up in the emergency room. Mercy. So if you have not seen that vlog, go watch the vlog. Mercy. It, it, was, it was a lot. It was a lot. But come Saturday... Saturday we were at church we had a marriage conference or a marriage you know yeah marriage conference that day uh, so we were at church and lo and behold I get my cycle in the middle of the conference like I was heated I was like oh my gosh and it just brought back so many emotions like I wanted to cry because I'm like oh my goodness I'm not pregnant I wanted to cry but then I was like I'm okay I have three beautiful babies and um, I would love to have another baby but I want I don't want to be 40 and have a surprise oh my goodness now that I'll cry because I'm like I'm 40 years old the children are like halfway out the door going to live their lives one will already be out the door she'll be in college and I'm like what in the world like we want we got to start all over again like what is going on here <laughs> but I mean if God says that's what it is hey that's what it is <laughs> that's what it is but I would love to have another baby before 35 my birthday is in August I'll be 34 so it's like Jesus if you want to do it now then you know what are you doing now <laughs> you know we can, we can do it now so yeah so i'm not pregnant not pregnant at all so we'll just see we'll just see we my husband and i we have been going back and forth about it and just talking about it and you know if it happens it happens if it don't we're okay we have beautiful babies and um but because we refuse to go through ivf again that is not for the faint of heart not for the faint at heart at all it is not it is not that's not, that's not, that's not. that was a tough 
journey and I said I was gonna do a three-part series which I'm gonna go ahead and do I'm gonna make sure that I recorded those um, conceive like trying to conceive series and just give y'all the juicy of the juice of every last um, thing just just of the whole the whole thing it was it was a lot especially when we were trying to conceive my our son because my daughter is from my first marriage and um I was diagnosed with PCOS before we got married and me and my ex-husband we were kind of like in denial um I don't think he really understand understood then and I didn't either like I never heard of PCOS I didn't know what it was like I thought they were lying they were just saying you know you gotta take this medication it worked on the first try so we were like I was just like do I really got this I'm just going off of what the doctor said and I was so young and so immature that I did not look in it for myself I was always so dependent on the doctors to give me information but they didn't even give me information um, they gave me textbook you know what I'm saying they they were so inexperienced with PCOS that they just told me you know the very basic textbook and then I also think that it was because there wasn't a lot of research on it then as well so I mean I don't know I don't know but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and map that out so I can go ahead and share that and hopefully that it blesses someone that is going through infertility at this um, you know at this in the season of life especially with black women we do not talk about infertility like for the longest I hid everything that we were going through and just didn't talk about it and when I started to talk about it it was so many other women that reached out to me and say oh my goodness oh my goodness that's what's going on with me I have PCOS can we talk this that and the other and I was like oh my goodness like we are living in silence when it comes to black women and infertility so I was happy when I finally just you know stepped out and started talking about it and things of that nature so yeah so uh, today I don't have much to do well I do but I don't but you know just trying to plan content trying to uh, be that full-time content creator trying to be that business lady, uh, businesswoman and entrepreneur so um, it is now almost 11 o'clock uh, And I was invited to go to a birthday lunch just this morning, so I might go to that. It's easy. Oh wow, they're they're headed there now. Okay. Okay, they're headed there now. So I guess that I will just. I guess I'll go ahead and go. Uh. They're already headed that way. So, um, I guess I'll go ahead and go. I guess I'll go ahead and go. Because it was last minute. They literally just text. Like, at 10 o'clock, I was in the middle of doing my devotion. Trying to stay more in God's word. Um, holding myself accountable for that. Oh goodness, she sent that text at 9.30. I didn't see it until like 10 o'clock. Mercy. But I mean, it's still last minute. I will, uh, yeah, okay. So I'm gonna let my husband know that I'm gonna go for a birthday lunch. And I'll just take y'all along for the rest of the day. It's been a lot. I be wanting to vlog my daily life. When I tell y'all it's a struggle, especially with kids. I don't see, if y'all have been on, y'all are veteran youtubers and y'all have kids and y'all vlog on all the time with the day in the lives let me just tell y'all i commend y'all <laughs> commend y'all because me with toddlers baby just vlogging friday it was exhausting and i barely did anything like good goodness like mercy <laughs> y'all are goats just know that but yeah so I'll just take y'all along with me for the rest of the day. I'm gonna go ahead and call my husband, let him know that I'm gonna go for the lunch, and I'll see y'all guys in a little bit. I'm here at the restaurant. It's called Casserole, Casserole Soul Cafe. I've never heard of this place, but they said it's really, really good. It's here in Cedar Hill. 
so I'm actually waiting for the other ladies to get here it's like a group of us so I just saw my sis Regina she just pulled up and then I think Jada is already in the restaurant and so we're waiting on the birthday girl so I hope this food is really really good um I'm sorry I got distracted because I saw somebody I was like what is he doing like he just pulled up and you know I gotta I got watch especially when I'm by myself I gotta watch you don't know you don't know what people doing around this piece because he pulled up jumped out the car ran back out and just what the world is going on here do I want to stay right here and see I learned from my husband you know back in because if you gotta take off and get out you know you could just drive off instead of bagging up he said, uh-uh, we ain't got time for that in the middle of, uh, middle of a crisis. <laughs> you need to just drive on off. So I was like, mm, what y'all doing? What, what, what's, what's going on? No, but yeah, I hope I like it. I hope it's good. But this is the place. Let me turn it around. So that's the place, Casserole Soul Cafe. Oh yeah, I hope it's good. I hope it's good. And just waiting on the birthday girl to get here and see what else we got for today. I'm gonna have to leave. I'm gonna leave with everybody. Well, I'm gonna leave a little bit early because I still gotta get home. Still gotta cook dinner for the kids and then pack up my husband's lunch and breakfast. My husband is a truck driver and so. I pack his lunch and dinner, or I said lunch and dinner, lunch and breakfast. I cook it, pack it, and I wanna have all of that done before I leave to go get the kids by four o'clock. So I'm gonna do a easy dinner tonight. It's gonna be just spaghetti. Uh, and then for breakfast, I think I'm gonna make him an easy breakfast because this morning, uh, I got a country husband. Country husband, y'all. He loves rice and sausage. <laughs> he loves rice and sausage. So I made him some rice and sausage for this morning. But the location that he was going, he needed like a easier, more simpler breakfast. Like, depending on where he goes, he let me know what his what meals that are best for him to be able to just easily eat in between. Uh, his loads so I um, he said it wasn't too bad but with the type of load that he had today it, you know so I'm gonna make sure I just make him some eggs and sausage some really simple easy um, do it like a little scramble where he just heat it up and just eat it like a breakfast bowl and this time I'm gonna put a little bit of potatoes cuz uh, in it so he can just have everything that you'll have in a breakfast burrito but it's just a bowl so I have that. Oh, uh, birthday girl has arrived. Yes. All right. Let's go into the restaurant. Boop, boop. Somebody got a fan? Blow it. No, because the wax okay. is getting on there. <laughs> 
So they they can go now. Yay! How sweet is that? They made it. Yeah. Where'd y'all get it at? They went and got that for you. What's up? Uh-oh. 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 Uh-oh.
on the rest of the days of the week, we ain't gotta do nothing. So what? I can get home before five o'clock, get them fed, and get them a bath, and just be chilling on it until it's time to go to bed. That's the win for this moment. I might even be able to give me him some yoga because I didn't do any of my pelvic floor therapy exercises. I didn't do any kind of yoga exercises. Like yesterday was just so much. I didn't get to do any of my therapy or um, my yoga. And today was a surprise because I was actually going to do, um, you know, my therapy and yoga today. And then got a last minute invite when they decided to do the birthday thing. And I was like, oh, snap. Don't be alarmed about my color, colorful water. I started liquid chlor chlorophyll. If you have not heard of it or looked up the benefits of it, I believe you should give it a go. Give it a go. I just started the liquid chlorophyll. Actually, I bought it like a month or so ago, but I was so scared to try it because I didn't know how it was gonna taste. So I didn't, I never tried it. And so I finally had the guts to open it up today and started drinking it and it's not bad. Well, no, yesterday. So it's not bad. So it, it, it recommend like to do it one to three times a day. So I said I was gonna be intentional to do it in the mornings when I have my breakfast to have a full cup of water and drink all of my uh, to drink the liquid chlorophyll and I take black seed oil as well in the morning and then try to do it in the evening time I'm trying to think of remember to do it three times a day oh my goodness I'm trying to remember to drink water is a is a task in itself so gonna do it and just see how the benefits of it works and then I, I want to start juicing I need to find me a good juicer start juicing and I'll start like adding a, that into my rotation as well so just trying to get healthy be that example for my clients as a um, birth uh, prenatal postpartum doula and childbirth educator just want to be that example and uh, leading by example of how important it is to have your you know good nutrition what's good for your body what helps your body and just things of that nature but yeah so I'm on my way to go get the oldest on my way to go get her from school I pick up my daughter first and then go get the babies and then we're gonna head home. Okay, <laughs> so so while I was sitting here in this traffic, right? So I had remembered that my husband said that he sent me something on Facebook Messenger, and he was like, "Did you see my see that message I sent you?" I was like. No, babe, uh, I didn't. I, I'll look at it. And I just remembered that he said that he, s <laughs> that he sent me a message. My husband's so nasty. <laughs> Amen and no. Amen and 
know. <laughs> if you know, you know. Like, why? <laughs> My husband's so nasty. I like it though. I like it. Hey, I like it though. For two lights. Huh? Wait. <laughs> okay. Anyway, now you say it. What now? He YouTube and two likes on this video, mm -hmm. and he was showing me like his love. I guess. What's up, y'all? We are back home. Uh, my son is enjoying himself, giving him a little time on the tablet. The kids have eaten. I have fed the babies. <laughs> I have fed them. Gave this little one a bath and it is 550. A win is a win. Like a win is a win. I know girl. Come here. Let's we'll talk. Let's see camera. Ooh, look at that pretty girl. What's that? <laughs> Hi big boy. Yeah. Man, so we are this mama is winning. Do you hear me? Husband food is cooked, preps in in it's it's in the refrigerator. Waiting on him. What? Normally I am still cooking around this time. I still have to clean up, but um wash the dishes or whatever. Try to do a little laundry. Try to get my pelvic floor therapy and it only takes a good 15 minutes, so hopefully this little one will let me do that. Actually, let's go ahead and get that in, get my pelvic floor therapy in, and then um, try to do something with this hair. Say so we gotta, we gotta get these curls flourishing, honey. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm just going ahead and gonna try to get my pelvic floor therapy in. Normally. They will not let me do that. Bring Leanne. No, no, no. No, no, no. Give that to mommy. Thank you. She was about to destroy these band-aids. We got the, I got the, the Crayola band-aids. I keep hiding my nails because my nails are horrible. I'm not getting my nails done until Saturday because I wanted them fresh for Mother's Day. But me and my best friend was like, we can't wait this long to get our nails done because we always go together. It's like, we can't keep waiting this long to get our nails done because they look hot. Yes. Would you like a band aid? Would you like a band aid? <laughs> I love how she communicates. It is so funny. You hit that. that one's yours. No, no, no more. Here, look. Look, break it, and now you have two. Got one in that hand, and then one in this hand. There you go. Brindley. Yeah, ignore the tons of laundries, a basket, you know, laundry baskets around. This is full of their clothes. My husband's clothes is right there, like... When I tell y'all, Monday is my laundry day and I still do not finish. And it's the laundry in the washer and in the dryer. Mama, he got me. So I'm just going to see what I can get done tonight. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get too much done because this little one will be ready to breastfeed in the evening and just be ready to settle down by 7 o'clock. So we'll just see how much I can get done in that time frame. Okay, come on, let's go in the room. Let's go in, let's go in the other room so we can uh, do exercise.
So I just finished. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what time it is at this point. Like, I really don't. Like, it does not take me long to do those that pelvic floor therapy. <laughs> but it takes me forever to even get it done, or just I like to sit in it just a little bit longer than what is recommended. Cause it's literally like each, it's like a minute, like literally. So it's nothing like, or it's like a couple of seconds to do like the, I did the C-section therapy, um, scar therapy. I'm just trying to do that. But as you can see, this, ow, no, no. This one won't let me do anything. This one always wants to give me a hug. That's why I try to do it early in the day. So here, from here on out, I'm gonna do that like first thing in the morning when I get back from dropping them off at school because trying to get up at 5.30 just, I'm gonna start trying to do that again and get it in at that time so I don't even have to worry about it in the evening time and my yoga and all of that that I wanna do for myself and my health, it's just, you know. But, goodness, the rest of the night, I'm just going to go ahead and get him a bath, call it a night. Like I said, try to get some editing done, but I highly doubt it because it's, good. it's about to be a mess. It's about to be a mess. But if you have any questions about um, what I do for pelvic floor therapy, why I chose to get into pelvic floor therapy, uh, get a pelvic floor therapist, I think I'm going to do a video on that because it is important for all mamas to know um, I believe every mama should you um, get them a pelvic floor therapist. Um, I do recommend a wonderful pelvic floor therapist that actually does virtual com uh, virtual clients as well that's not based here in Dallas. So yeah, I'm going to have to do that. Ooh, Mama, I just thought about something else. Well, I'm just be thinking about stuff. So, actually, let me, let me, let me discuss this with my therapist and see what she say about this. Cause I got a really cool idea. I got a really cool idea. But anywho, but I'm gonna call this vlog. It's cause it's been a day. It's been a day. I need to go ahead and get him a bath and call him a night. So I will see y'all in the next one.